Let's get started. In this first video, I want to introduce you with the structure of the course so you can get the impression of what you will be doing, how, and most importantly, why. By creating this course for you, we had several learning objectives in mind. Those are about what you, as the learner, will be able to do after you finish this course. First, we want you to be able to recognize advantages and limitations of using fiber reinforced polymer FRP composite material instead of traditional materials in infrastructure and building projects. To know when to apply it. Then, you need to be able to make a proper choice from the wide range of different FRP materials and production processes for a specific application. After that, you should be able to deliver a realistic design of FRP structures or to perform a critical review of such designs and perform design verifications of structural members and joints between them. And finally, for some of you, it is important to be able to apply classical laminate theory to compute stresses and stiffness in composite laminates and to create a suitable finite element model for basic FRP structures and structural members and use the results for design verifications. We were aware that this course will be interesting for several profiles of professionals involved in infrastructure and building industry. The designers and consultants, contractors, project managers, the architects, reviewers and decision makers. This course is for all of you, but the fact is that not all the learning objectives are equally important for all the professional profiles. The designers need all of them, including the detailed analysis. Consult consultants would probably not go into deep computation and analysis, being mostly interested in the first four learning objectives about when, which and how to use FRP and how to do the design verifications. Contractors, project managers and architects do not need to know that much about the design verifications but the first three learning objectives are very important for them. Reviewers need to be able to judge the choice of the material and feasibility of the design and sometimes to check if the verifications are in line with the regulations and to judge the applicability of finite element models and results. Lastly, but very important, the decision makers need proper knowledge to decide when or more importantly why and which FRP material to put into their projects to make a confident decision that they also need to know what is the current state of the design codes. If you like tables better than pyramids, then this is where you can find yourself. Maybe you do not find your exact title here, but we hope that you can find your place and the relevance of the learning objectives in your situation. So in order to achieve all this, to get new skills, you will mostly learn by doing Therefore, the course is built around three groups of assignments that connect those learning objectives. The design assignments, analysis and design verification assignments, and review assignments. You will spend roughly 50% of the envisaged time working on those rather than just passively observing. Rest of the time you will use to study the content and discuss in the forums. The design assignment is practice on the scale of a structure and is done in a group. The analysis and design verification assignments are practice on the scale of structural component individually. The review assignments are also done individually. The con conceptual design assignment connects first three learning objectives. You will work on that in groups of three to four participants, which we will select, based on the lists of skills that you provide. We want to create strong teams covering all skills so that each of you will have the opportunity to bring your best and spend time on learning objectives most important for yourself. The idea is to work on a real case of some of your previous projects. Therefore, your first task is to bring your own case. From several cases within the group, we will select one which is the most suitable to be redesigned using FRP in the online group, group kickoff meeting. Then you will continue with tasks to, to deliver the list of requirements and the conceptual design, followed by the preliminary design and lastly the input for final design. 
the analysis and design verification assignments are individual. They're based on smaller problems, which predefined steps will help you to gain experience that you will use in the design group assignment. The first task is to use the simulation tool that we created for you and to compare the results to some simple formulas for laminates. Then you will work on the design of a cross-section for simple hollow beam. This will help you to get first experience and apply it in your conceptual design group assignment. You will also work on optimization of the material composition for a certain combined stress state, which in one hand will help you to bring your group conceptual design to the preliminary design level. Using the design recommendations to select the safety and conversion factors for the verification of the simple hollow beam, will help you to do the same in making the input for final design in your group assignment. And then you will go further than your group assignment. You will perform ultimate and serviceability limit state design verifications of a hollow beam based on current design recommendations. The last part is to employ the fine element analysis of a hollow beam and to compare it to hand calculations. This task is optional and can be chosen in contrast to the third group the review assignment. The review assignment consists of reviewing reports of the conceptual design and preliminary design of someone else's group and individual design verification assignment. This way you can skip the FEA assignment if it is not your preferable learning objective and get more insight on design aspects by looking into how other participants did it. To enable you to work on the assignments, we created the content around them, not the other way around. The content and the assignments are divided in five main modules and the last wrap-up module. In the first module, we deal with the components of the FRP material, introduce laminates and show some example projects. The second module is about structural design. Within two weeks, you will learn about production processes, joints, how to approach conceptual design of structures with FRP, serviceability and strength-driven design, design of the laminate, FRP decks and strengthening of existing concrete structures by using FRP. With the third module, we aim to provide the theoretical background of the material behavior that you need to be able to understand design guidelines. We will deal with orthotropic elasticity, but also the strength and failure modes. Then, in the module four, we will discuss the specific behavior of the material, the environmental influences and durability, long-term mechanical behavior in terms of creep and fatigue, influence of production processes on quality and robustness. Module 5 is about design verifications. First, we'll look at current level of design codes and recommendations and delve into ULS and SLS verification of cross-sections of members including finite element analysis. We will also look into specific details of design verifications and recommendations for the design of bolted and bonded joints. The wrap-up module consists of review and final feedback. The content within the modules is presented in form of video lectures, reading materials and quizzes where you can test your understanding. Videos are short but very condensed. We assume that you will be spending two to three times more on them than the actual video length by rewinding, taking notes, and etc. Reading materials include more details in certain topics and input data and example for some of the assignments. Time-wise, it is a nine weeks journey of about five to six hours of your engagement per week, including work on the assignments but also content, quizzes, and participation in discussion forums. Here we see the time plan for the assignments. We start with a relaxed first week, where the main purpose is to get to know each other and the material in order to prepare for working on real assignments. The group assignment and the content that goes along starts first. Then we move to the individual assignments. As mentioned before, there are optional paths within the individual assignments that you can choose to best fit, best fit your learning objectives. Option one is to work on the finite element analysis. If you're not interested in that, you can choose to work on the review assignments. 
you need to choose one option before the first optional assignment starts. Assignments are organized in a timely manner because some of them depend on the previous ones. Each square in this chart represents approximately 30 minutes to one hour of your engagement. For example, we envisage that you will need approximately one or two hours to select one of your previous projects and upload the drawing with the short description. You will all work at different times according to your agenda. That is the advantage of an online course. But that's also a danger because you will tend to postpone it because of your other duties. There are deadlines to keep you on track. You will see them in the system. When working on a group assignments, it is important to synchronize with other members of your team. For example, use the group kickoff meeting to discuss how you will organize this and which of the available online platforms for collaborative work suits best for your team. We will use the discussion forums that are available in the course platform for exchanging thoughts about individual assignments, general questions, theory, etc. The assessment of your successful finishing of the course is based on grading of the assignments by instructors and automatic grading of the quizzes. There are droppables in the individual assignments. This means that you do not have to finish all of them, which is another opportunity to fit the course to your professional needs. Please look at the syllabus for more information. At the end of this introduction, I wish you a good start and I invite you to join the social cafe discussion forum where you can present yourself to other participants and us or just write hello.